my friends. I think many of you will agree with me on this. Nothing beats a loaded everything bagel. It is carb heaven. So when Randy recently opened up a bagel shop, we had to visit him to find out what the secret is to a great tasting bagel. Check it out. Did you hear that? Maturity. But what you're looking for is that crunch and that chew. Come on. Perfect. So perfect. The idea for Salty Blonde started like 10 years ago when we were in the pizza business. We liked working with dough and then I was like, you know, bagels are so delicious and nobody's really doing it in our hometown. What if we started to make those? So then the pandemic hit, everyone was baking and we like really honed in on that recipe. We've got the everything. We have got the salty sea salt. We have the caraway, the sesame, the espresso pumpernickel, the extra dark in the bottom, and the pumpkin pie that goes really well with the salted caramel cream cheese. Just saying, good times. The secret to the greatest bagels out there is always the dough. So our secret, it isn't gonna be a secret if I explain it, but our secret is very quite simple. We you are doing a sourdough bagel, so we use a starter, and then we slow ferment our bagels for a minimum of two days, a maximum of four days, and we boil in malt and then bake on both sides. So this is our signature muffaletta. The restaurant was called Nino's, and they were here for 49 years before we got here, and we are hoping for a fraction of that success, so we had to make an Italian sandwich and name it after Nino's. So this is the Nino's muffaletta, provolone, mozzarella, soprasata, mortadella, and then some olive and giardinera spread. We heat it, we press it, and then, oh my stars, it is freaking delicious. It is the one bite you need. I got to say a big congratulations, Randy. Like, Thank we're you. so happy that you created this. You, you, like, you never do anything easy. Oh. You make it look very easy, but it's not easy. So Salty Blonde is a beautiful shop. You and Catherine have done it again. It looks Thank phenomenal. I you. love this dream team. Uh, and now you're actually going to teach me how to do something which is very difficult, which is how to make a bagel. How to make a bagel. It's not that easy. Yeah, you know, to get some kind of level of success is very easy. Yeah. To get, like, a really high level of success, there's, yes. like, a curve there. It's, like, really easy to get to here, but to get to here takes, like, a long time. Yes, and so. you and Catherine actually have a reputation for doing things right. We try to. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't always so. happen that way, but, you know, yeah. for the most part, yeah. <laughs> the so bar is high. We were you know? 112 different changes to the recipe before we got into the shop and then oh, we baked wow. every day for 42 days before we <gasps> opened and there was days we just threw it in the bin because oh. it was like you move to industrial equipment and it changes everything and it's like oh no this isn't the way it's supposed to be yes but we're there now you got to figure it out yeah. okay so now take me there okay the what secret trace know? it's hand rolling i know it's a pain but we okay. have a baker that comes in at 4 30 every morning and he yes. starts baking at 4 30 then he rolls for three hours and he does this it's all muscle memory okay. so you want to get the rope he's probably got good arms he's got some pretty uh, right? arms have gotten bigger yeah, yeah there's no yeah. arm wrestling competitions around the store no <laughs> And what you want to do is you want to roll that rope to about just over like an inch, maybe like an inch and a half. Because yours getting so thin. I'm putting some weight on it. Okay. You get some oh, all right. Come okay. On. And then so this really is the down. trick. And what we're looking for is 125 grams, 120 okay. grams. Okay. Whatever that means. You're going to grab it here like uh -huh. this. Little, and then you're going to wrap it around and pinch. And then you use the palm of your hand. No problem. Just to roll it out like that. <laughs> I'm still rolling a problem. Look at that. Look. Okay, hold on. So you just like... Yeah, it's about 125 that grams. That looks perfect, uh, Trace. About that. <laughs> and I do a little bit of that. It, pretend it's a hand ring. And then I go like that. Yeah. And it is a good looking bagel. That is fantastic, <laughs> yeah. right? Now you can understand why there was a lot of trial and error, right? There was some right? trial and error. Some trial and error. Yeah. So All now, right. let me take a look. Put it down on the, let's take a look, Trace. Let's just compare them because I think it's comparable. It's very gorgeous. <laughs> it's very gorgeous. It's a tiny little yeah. special signature Tracy Moore bagel. <laughs> but if you did that for 42 days, I think we would, it, it would evolve a little bit, yeah. right? So now the trick is because we have this tasty little thing, we're gonna put it in the, we're gonna let it like proof for a little bit, so it's gonna gain about 30%. Okay. And then it's gonna go into the walk-in, we're gonna retard it in the baking world. We're gonna kinda stop that proofing. Got At it. the shop, we do that for two days to forty to four days. Oh, so wow. up to eighty hours. Okay. And then we bring them out and they look like perfect they look little guys perfect. like this, right? But we have a problem, like how are we gonna take this into the water? 
So why do you have to do that? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. Casey. So boiling is what gives it that leathery crust. Mm -hmm. So it gives it the crispness, number one, but it gives it that chew. Okay. And a good bagel should chew. It should be like you got to mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. it a little mm -hmm. bit, but then yeah. pillowy soft in the inside. So we boil for like 35 seconds per side. Okay. If you want a bigger chew, then you would go like a minute per side. Okay. Right? So like Montreal so, bagels, probably more chewy. Yes, I go a yeah. minute on both sides. So what I do is just take this on the parchment paper and drop it in. That way we're oh. not going to beat the bagel up. Smart. It's still, it's been resting for 48 hours or for four days. You don't want to yeah. slap it around. You yeah. want to be really gentle with it. And then the heat just kind of like peels off. And then look at that. The perfect sign is that they have to float. If they sink to the bottom, we got yeah, they go in the bin. We go in the bin. Although I would still eat them before they get in the bin. <laughs> I'd be like this. Ah, just you put would them have out. loved the trial and error phase. What are you poaching them in? So there's a little bit of maple syrup in there, uh -huh. a touch of salt, and we also have a little bit at home. You could put baking oh, soda in good. to get a color, but we don't do that. We just leave it more maple syrup. So yeah. we just do it like that. It right? looks beautiful. Isn't the color is beautiful. Of gorgeous. So we take this out, and now it's time to season. Now in the shop, we obviously season both sides, but I think if you're at home, yeah. you don't need to do that. One side is probably enough. You're going to impress your family. Yeah. This so what's is your very favorite cool. spice, Trace? Everything bagel, it's please. It's all about the everything. You know, it says like, I love an everything. It bagel. says I'm fancy, but I like to party at the same time, right? Yes. Everyone likes and that's the very everything me. bagel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fancy, but I really you. like to get down. I like to party. So that's all we need to do. Now we're going to chuck this in the oven at okay. 450 for 13 minutes. Oh, that's it. That is all right. it. Until golden brown delicious. And wow, look at that. These just came out like that. And that I mean, is ooh, beautiful. Hard. So I think a perfect bagel just has a small little hole in it because I want to make a sandwich with it. Yes. Right? And I don't want that bite when everything, have everything full in the top. I agree with right? you 100%. So More little, bread, the better. But if you listen, I'll get this. Right? That's what you want. <laughs> right? And then, oh. 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 I'm letting him do it with the chef hands. They're hot. It's hot, eh? That is hot. But is that not a thing of beauty? Give it up that for Chef Feltis. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, that's beautiful. And so. who knew this all went into making a bagel?